Hi, welcome to the fourth installment of Data Structures in 5 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about stacks, queues, and decks, and then giving you a brief in intro into priority queues and heaps, because I can't cover this in its entirety in 5 minutes. So let's get started. Stacks are one of the most important, yet most basic data structures, because all you have to do is <coughs> last in, first out, implement that principle. And so think of having a stack of dirty dishes, and if you pile them up, it's hard to remove the bottom dish without removing the top one. This is basically the idea. And so you have three operations, push, pop, and top. Push is you push any item into the stack. Pop is you pop the last item which is the one at the very top from the stack, and top is checking to see what that one is. And so, for instance, <coughs> if I have an empty stack, I push a 4 and a 7. The 7 was pushed last, so it's on top of the 4, and so when I pop from this stack, I pop that la uh, the top element, which was the 7. Queues, um, well, one thing about stacks that's very important and helped me throughout these two, uh, two semesters is that in Java and Python, all your method and function calls are off the stack frame, or, or just this pile of frames. And so when you do recursion problems, for instance, think about what data you hold in each frame, and think about how that data propagates through the stack once the frames are popped when they're done executing. So that's basically one insight. The other insight are problems such as matching parentheses or um, implementing the back button for your web browser, those <coughs> use the stack. Queues, on the other hand, uh, rely on the first in, first out principle. So if your element's the first one in, then it'll be the first one out. And so there are three operations here, and queue, DQ, and front. And queue means you put an item in from the back. <coughs> Sorry. And DQ means you remove an item from the front. So that's why, well, I'll explain now. When you implement queues with a singly linked list, you want a head and a tail pointer. And front is basically allowing you to check which elements at the very front. So, it just, I think of it as a few people waiting in line. It's that simple. And finally, double, doubly ended queues, or DEX for short, uh, is a queue but with. Um, additions and removals being possible on both sides. So you have a remove and add first from the front, remove last and add last from the back, and you can implement operations easily to check them. But in order to do that, you need to implement them using a doubly linked list. And so all of these operations, stack, uh, I mean stack, queue, and deck, should take constant time <coughs> because they're very simple to implement. Now, let's shift our attention to priority queues. So priority queues are specialized queues in which you prioritize the keys. And so you can choose any type of priority, including um, the maximum key or the minimum key. So what happens is you can insert an object in any order, <laughs> but you, you can only remove the one with the highest priority first. And so an application for this would include um, maybe you have, um, you want to take in all the offers for a house, but you only want to process the offers that are the highest price first. And so you have two op uh, three operations. The first one's insert, which means you can insert anything, but in some cases it's more complicated implementation-wise because you want to do stuff. Um, as you insert it into your data structure. <coughs> you have remove most important, which is you remove the most important entry from your um, data structure. And you have most important, which is you want to check to see which element is most important. And this operation is meant to be in constant time for priority queues. And you can't really, <coughs> you can't really do that with sorted and unsorted arrays or linked lists. And finally, the key here is, yes, you got to prioritize the keys. Finally, the priority queues is an abstract data type. A heap is one implementation of this abstract data type. So that's the main distinction between heaps and priority queues. And heaps have the heap order property where, <coughs> for instance, if your priority is a min, 
If men is prioritized, then the parent must be smaller than all of its children. <coughs> Sorry, not all of its children, but its children. And so <coughs> this property is important in allowing the operations to take log time. And finally, you have different heaps such as binary, binomial, and Fibonacci heaps. But I'll only be talking about binary heaps for the next video. <laughs>